So if you look here on this two outlet here, okay, one of them is a four-way four-way switch and a one-way switch here, okay. Uh, you can see that uh, actually a little bit inside here because of uh, the sheetrock is uh, a little bit broken here and also that one, but here on top it's okay. So what happened here is if I'm going to put here the cover, okay, so you will notice that uh, the switch, some of them are really, some of them are really inside, okay. So in order to correct the stuff, I want to use an extender. It's called extender box, and that's what I want to show you because you more likely one time in your life you will find out that the sheet work here is broken and the switch going inside, you know, inside the box. And it's actually a little bit far away from the wall. So that's what I want to do. I want to show you how I'm going to fix this problem. So this is the extender plastic here, okay, the extender that I'm going to use. Let me show you what is the name. It's called, okay, let me just open it for you. So this product called Carlon single or multiple gang box extender, okay? And it's coming in two, if you look here, you can see two separate, two separate plastic extended box, okay? And the way you connect it, you actually put them next to each other, the reeds are all here, okay? You can see some kind of uh, all here, okay? And here's like a small pin. Okay, so what happened, it's, if you put them together, look, look what happened. I put them together and they reunited, let's say, and joined together and they become one. It's kind of a pin, a small pin, let me show you. If I remove it now, you can see it's like a pin here. If you can see it from here or you can see it from here. That's the pin and the pin going inside to the hole here. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to remove these two outlet outside and use this extended box to extend the box here and that these and these switches will sit properly on the sheet track wall or drywall. So just let you know I already shut down the power here. So remember when you work on electricity you have to shut shut down the power. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to remove both switch. Just make sure I shut the power, shut the power. Okay, so this is a four-way switch here. Okay, and this is a one-way switch. So I pull both of them outside, outside the box, just pulling it, okay? So now I'm going to use this plastic, okay, the extended box. And you can see the hole is here and the pin is here. It's very important, the pin should be here. So here I'm coming with this uh, extended box and I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to push it, which means I'm going to push this this switch that you can see inside it by putting it like that and here see what I'm doing, that's it so the second one I'm going to use the same techniques remember the hole should be always on the right side and the pin on the left I'm going to put the same thing here, let's see if it will work guess what, it works so now if I go into shelf from close there what's happening here, let me show you so if you're looking for a close distance, you can see this, this switch is really inside this cover or extended box. And this switch, the four-way switch here, it's inside the cover or the extended box. Okay, so what I have to do now, I have to reunite these two boxes together. And you see there are screws here, there should be another screw here in this hole. And there is another one here. Okay, and I'm going to attach these boxes, these extended boxes to the 
electrical box that is inside here, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to ignore this on the left side. I'm going to put this here. See that? I have to press it inside, it will go inside. And don't worry, it will go inside, okay? And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this switch and push it here. You can see the holes here. Okay, these holes, that's the screw of the switch, will go through this all of the extended box. Okay, and then we go to the all to the extended box and attach the extended box to the electrical box, the original box. Okay. So that's it. Let me just attach it. Okay, so here I'm going to first try this. So as you can see, that one already been attached. So now I'm going to take the second one. So now I'm going to do the same thing with this box. And what I'm, you can see what I'm doing here. Just take it here. And just push it until they reunite it with the other box. And you really have to do it by hook or by crook. That's it, it looks excellent now. So you just need to press it here, you see that there is a pin that will go through the hole. Okay, sometimes you have to use a plier just to push it, but I, I managed to put it here in, in both places. I will show you from close proximity how it looks like now. So now you can see both of them actually inside, okay. And what I want to show you here is the pin. You can see the pin here from close proximity, that's the pin, it should be going, there is a hole here and it should have to go inside the hole. Same thing here, you can see the pin, it has to go inside the hole, okay? So as you can see, both of these boxes are reunited and the only thing left now is just to attach this uh, switch, four-way switch to the box and then we can connect everything and I'll show you how it works. So just pushing this switch back to its own, okay? We really need to be, sometimes it's a bit difficult because the ground is here. Okay, now it's okay. And using the screw, the same screw, just to attach it to the hole. One is in, okay, so that's why you put it too, too much in. So as you can see here now, you have two switches that uh, sitting on an extended box and they're actually in the same distance from the wall now so we can actually put the cover and it's going to look very nice let me turn on the light uh, the light here and we can continue so now after i actually put it here i can put the cover here let me show you if i put the cover you can see both of them are outside in evenly and it's easily to go and close this cover. So thank you very much for watching this video.